This foundation claims to be uh, sauna proof. Hi everyone, it's me, Chihiro. Today I'm... I'm so excited! Sorry, I just itched my nose and my face is red. And you can probably tell, I'm not wearing any foundation, which leads to today's video. So I ordered this foundation called Neo Cushion by Laneige. I don't know how to say it in English. In Japanese, it's like Laneige. Um, it's a Korean foundation and they have like the dewy version and the matte version and I bought the matte version. I'm very excited because this foundation claims to be a lot of things, okay? Number one, they say that they sold one every 20 seconds, so like that's a lot. Also, they've got a lot of awards. They got an award from Allure, they got an award from Marie Claire, I've been doing a lot. One of the reasons why I got it is because this foundation claims to be uh, sauna proof. Let's say you're on vacation. You're like, man, I would really like to go to the sauna, but I'm wearing like a full face of makeup. Oh, it's gonna melt, blah, blah, blah. No, apparently this won't happen if you if you have this, this foundation. I got 20N, no, 21N. And this is the packaging. It's so cute. And it's refillable, refillable. So you just go like that. So it comes with this cushion too. And what's cool about it is that it has a lot of holes. Do you see that? It hasn't been opened yet. I got it yesterday. So it's like a cushion foundation. They say that this is all in one, so you don't need to like have any um, concealer because it will. It has that like coverage. But I'm just gonna quickly put on some primer. And I already did my eye makeup and my eyebrows, so everything is just easier. So I'm just gonna do my first half. I have my mirror right here, just like that. That's, ooh, that's, mm. <laughs> that's a little bit dark. Actually, so I realized why um, mine is called 21N. So they have seven shades in total. Five of them are, oh, this smells good. Oh, you can see the difference. Five shades ends with an N, so that means it's neutral. And then there's two that ends with C, that means it's cool base. And because this is a Korean brand, I would say that the shades are very East Asian standard base. It's very pale. So I didn't go back in with the foundation at all. I just did that one thing as you've seen and I was able to cover half of my face, which was pretty impressive. So this is half of my face with only just, just this. Um, and this part, <laughs> I should have done this side first. This side I have more acne. So I don't know about that, but so far it's okay. Um, so let me just go do my other side too. I usually don't like um, cushion foundations because like, they get like too oily for me at the end of the day. But this claims, yeah, that you don't need touch up and that it's 24 hours long wear. Wait, what am I saying? It lasts, it lasts 24 hours. And I, I forgot to mention, but this, is apparently the first foundation to ever be blue light proof. I didn't cover any of my acne and this is the result. I mean, it's still a little red, but I mean, I don't really care about my acne showing, so it's fine. Um, it's a little like kind of sticky at first, but I think afterwards it's it'll be fine. I saw someone do a review on this and they mentioned that this only works if you set it and the, the company claims that you don't have to set it, like it's perfectly fine just the way it is. That's why it's all in one, but I doubt that. I always set my foundation, so I'll set this one too. I'm just gonna finish up my makeup a little bit and I'll be right back. So I finished my makeup. First impression, so it's full coverage. It's very like brightening. Um, this could just be because I've got a lighter shade than I normally wear or it's just they're just doing that asian thing that they always do which they magically make it one tone lighter than it needs to be and i feel like also it blends really well with the makeup that i have i'm just gonna finish it off with some setting spray 
So I've done everything what I would normally do except for changing my foundation. I don't know if I mentioned it, so I'm just gonna list out the facts that this foundation states to be. So number one, it states to have SPF 42. Second, it's 24 hour long wear. Sweat proof, mask proof, sauna proof, exercise proof. Also, it has blue light cutting abilities. You don't need any touch up for this. So I will keep you updated throughout the day. Right now it's just past 11 a.m. and I'm gonna go out today to run some errands and then I have work. I'll be staying inside but I will keep you updated then and then yeah stay tuned. So far so good. Before I start the day I thought it would be good to just update you up close what my skin looks like. It may be nasty so you can just skip ahead but yeah this this is what it looks like. I mean it looks like all right you know just regular coverage i usually have a struggle with my nose but my nose doesn't seem too bad when i first put it on so that's always good yeah see you next time it's 1 20 so i've been wearing this foundation for <laughs> the fuck i can't do math two hours almost close to two hours and a half this is what it looks like in daylight so yeah, wearing my mask on my way to run errands. Let's see if this passes the mask test as well as just how it looks in daylight. I mean, it looks okay. Like no, no cakiness, no oiliness. Uh, and today it's like 25 degrees. It's a little humid, but not as humid. It's just like sometimes I sweat. So it's not that hot. The only time I'm sweating today, I realize, is when I'm feeling really anxious. <laughs> and I've been feeling really anxious recently, so... Yeah, that will be the test today. The anxious sweat test. So I'm back. It was really hot. So I'll take it off and we'll see what it looks like. Um, for those who don't want to see what my inside, what the inside of my mask looks like, honestly, just fucking skip ahead. I don't want to see it either, but just for the purpose of today. Um, yeah. So let's... Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! Do you guys see it? Do you guys see it? I don't even see it. Can you see it? it I have some on here. Makes sense because I have it on my nose. And I have just some here and there. This is like from my lip stick. Um, and I just have some like here, so it's probably around here. Um, yeah, that's fucking crazy. What the fuck? It's like that. Um, and also another issue that I have with putting on masks is the string because it's like on my cheek directly. I hate it when it gets foundation color and the string, it's a little, it's a little brown, but it's not terrible. The And my makeup itself, it's like still okay. I, I did sweat a little because like, as you can see, the sun is fucking out. I'm still sweating. I'm kind of impressed. What the fuck is this foundation? I'll check in in a couple of hours. What the fuck? It's 4.20. I have to start class soon. And this is totally unrelated to my foundation but my shift was supposed to end at 7 15 but then my fucking boss was like no 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 teach till 8 and i have to teach till fucking 8 so yeah this is me i think by the, the next time you see me it'll be dark so no more sunlight but if this is the five hour mark um no complaints honestly i took a nap too and it still looks okay but yeah this is the five hour mark okay i don't think nothing has changed too much coverage is still there i'm not too oily either i'm i'm still impressed and um wish me luck teaching man i hate my job <laughs> okay so it's 8 p.m i just finished my last class of the day this is my skin right now it i've been in my room, I like teach online so I can't have the fucking AC or the fan on because it's so loud, you know? 
so it's really hot in my room i'm kind of sweating um so that's why i look a little oily but i don't think it's like oily oily you know i just look a little wet that sounds gross but yeah this is my update i don't really touch my face either so um nothing really major i'm losing my voice because i've been teaching all day um or all afternoon like i'm just a little oily but nothing has really changed oh i guess like my redness is showing a little bit but um other than that it's fine let me just blot i'm really losing my voice let me just blot my face to see if that changes anything so i don't have any blotting paper apparently but typically anyways if if i was outside i would just like blot my face with like my handkerchief um and yeah i'm in the same place as before i guess the oiliness has kind of settled but not really but i would still say it's like full coverage it hasn't really broke down at all like my nose is okay and my cheeks are okay my chin i guess it's a little red but i don't think it's like noticeable all good still no complaints so it's now nine okay it's been 10 hours since i wore this foundation and it still looks okay which is fucking bullshit i don't believe it so i will put it to the ultimate test and i will drink a can of alcohol and um typically like half of this will get me super red so if my redness doesn't show that much this is a true winner by the way this is kiwi flavored and it's four percent alcohol i usually drink three so this is i got a higher alcohol percentage too this is so good okay i'll see you guys in a bit so far like i am little red you can see like here and my jaw my jaw gets a little red and my neck and my eyes get red but that's not the case i look only a little bit of drunk which is great because i get bright bright red i'll show you in a different lighting so this is me in a different lighting like you can still see that i'm a little red on my eyes and my cheeks but other than that like if you compare my face to my ears this is my true redness i would get this red when i'm drunk but this foundation makes me look that i'm only a, a little drunk which is which is great 10 out of 10. so that's the end of the video for today i wore this foundation for over 10 hours and it still looks okay considering the fact that i didn't touch up on anything i didn't add powder i only blotted some of my um oil i think at the eight hour mark which is pretty or sorry the nine hour mark which is pretty insane and it looks okay i know it's a little bit dark so you can't really see um but yeah honestly i just look a little dewy that's all and my nose area it doesn't look bad at all you know granted i didn't go outside as much i mean i did go out to run some errands and i did sweat at home and when i went out and i did drink as the final test to see how full coverage this is but it seems good no complaints at all um i guess i have to see how it is the more i try using it but so far i think this is a great foundation it, it says matte but it's not too matte you know what I mean? The more you wear it throughout the day, it definitely gets dewier, but I enjoyed it and I look forward to using it. So hopefully if you have the opportunity, you can try and use it. The shades, there's not enough shades, so that's, the, that's one of the few cons. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!